G'day. This is Political Donations Day. It's the one day in the year when the Australian Electoral Commission comes out and just gives a big data dump and says who has been paying political parties. Big corporations, billionaires, the usual suspects are here, resources companies, enormous billionaires, usual suspects, plenty of money, usually to both Liberal and Labor, the unions, of course, to Labor, corporations skewing most of their funding to Liberal. There's no such thing as just supporting the democratic process. All these may be considered not donations, they can be considered to be bribes. They're either, they're either bribes designed like protection money mafia style to stop the government bringing in laws, good laws, like getting rid of the grandfathering exemption, like introducing, you know, caps to tax losses. Good laws like AML, stopping money laundering and terrorism financing, which were meant to come in 15 years ago. But the lawyers, the accountants and the real estate lobby, all their money, their deluge of money into the political process to both the Liberal and the Labor parties, principally, they are buying legislation. This is government, your government for sale. They are selling out to corporations increasingly. Donations overall are down this year. But if you look at it over an electoral cycle in the US, they doubled from 2016 to 2020. In Australia, they tripled from 2016 to 2019. And assuming if we have an election year this year, because this data is lagging data, it's old, it's till last June, it's COVID affected. You can bet right now, the donations are absolutely ramping up for both major parties, as large corporations and rich Australians buy their political favours at your expense.